world. Yes, dear. There appears to be a, a clown in the room. A clown? Yes. Over there. So there is. Do you think we should uh, do something? About the clown? Yes. He appears to be rather harmless. But he's in our living room. Perhaps he's lost. If he's lost, per perhaps we could help him. And uh, what do you suggest? Perhaps we should uh, give him directions or, or see if he needs aid of some kind. I once read in a medical journal that clowns were a rather resourceful bunch. You, you think he might just uh, find his own way out then? That would be my guess. Harold. Yes, dear. What if the clown doesn't leave? I don't see why I wouldn't. I mean, our son Reginald left eventually. Yes, but that was to go to university. And you don't think the clown's here to go away to university? I would imagine not, unless, of course, we pay his tuition, too. I... Hmm. Puts us on a rather sticky wicket, then, doesn't it? Perhaps you should go uh, talk to him. He appears to be reading. Uh, might be best to wait until he's done. Don't want to appear rude. But he's in our living room. Hmm? Still, to interrupt a man in the middle of his reading. Why don't I go see what he's reading? Maybe that would make a difference. I don't see how, but if you feel the need, just don't get too close. We don't know where he's been. Well put. It's The Brothers Karamazov by Dostoevsky. It appears, then, we're dealing with a sophisticated cloud. Best come back this way. What should we do now? I could always shoot him, I suppose. Isn't that against the law? Mm, good point. I hadn't thought of that. Perhaps there's uh, someone we could call. You mean like a government department or some such? I'm sure this sort of thing happens all the time. That? Or we could see if there's a circus in town. That's a good idea. That way we could just drop him off and he could slowly acclimate himself. I'm sure the other clowns would take him like he's one of their own. I'll make some calls. Harold? Yes, dear? When? Where are you going to make those calls? About the clown, you mean? Yes. I was thinking in the morning when I was at the office. What about tonight? Oh, I'm sure he'll be fine. Although we might want to consider getting him a blanket and a pillow. That chair looks awfully uncomfortable. So you're suggesting he spend the night? Well, we certainly can't toss him out in the cold, stray clown or not. But, but what if he's dangerous? Dangerous? He's a clown. Clowns are funny. But are you sure letting him stay the night is such a good idea? That's not the point. It's about compassion. How so? What if we were to send him out in the street or he was maimed? Or worse yet, killed? We'd then be known as those people, the people without compassion. I hadn't thought of that. And in today's society, it's all about compassion. That's what makes us civilized. You're a very good man, Harold. It's all about breeding and proper manners. A man needs to be proud. Hold his head high. Should we offer the clown some dinner? I don't see why not. Don't let it ever be said that I, Harold Tittleton, refuse to eat dinner with an uninvited clown. <gasps> Shall I serve on the good china? With our best silver. <gasps> I'll let the cook know there'll be one more for dinner.
Shall I? No, you can make arrangements for our clown guests for dinner. Oh. Tiddleton here. It's the office. But it's Sunday evening. Can't be helped, dear. I am Prime Minister. <sighs> yes? I see. Really? You don't say. Wolf? Huh. Well, there you have it. Problem? It appears the Minister of Defence has run off. Again. I'm afraid so. Only this time he snapped. This time, he pushed the button. You don't mean... I'm afraid so. That clown just started World War Three. I'd best go get us some tea, then. Jolly good, and best hurry. I feel a nuclear winter coming on. And I just took all our warm coats to the cleaners. I'd best go see about that tea. And to think the end of the world was brought on by a clown. Jenkins? I'm very disappointed in you. Pouting is not going to bring back civilization. You're a bad, bad clown.